Good morning. Today is Friday, April 23rd, and here are today's announcements. Students, please return all library books ASAP. Virtual students may drop them off in the main office, and in-person students may drop them off at the library. Obligations will be sent for all unreturned library books. The MSA would like to wish those observing a happy Ramadan. There will be a meeting today during lunch to share how the first week of fasting has been and play a game together. Anyone is welcome. Zoom information can be found in Google Classroom. Rockapella is finally starting. We'll have our first rehearsal on Tuesday, May 4th at 2.45 p.m. in the chorus room, room 1083. We are still accepting participants. The registration form is located in the link below on the Chorus IG, RHS Rams Chorus, on the R or on the RHS Music website, www.rockfieldmusic.org. On Tuesday, April 27th, come out to the Big Greek Cafe on Norbeck Road from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. to support the sophomore class. Don't forget to mention Rockville when you check out. Congratulations to last year's yearbook staff RHS 2020, earned a gold medal from the Columbia Scholastic Press Association. Order your yearbook today. Get a copy of the 2021 book. We have limited quantity of the book still available for pre-order at justines.com. The National Honor Society will be holding elections at our meeting today at 3 p.m. Candidates will be present at the start of the meeting and voting will be held immediately following. Voting will be available via our Google Classroom until 6 p.m. Well, I think that the, the restrictions, the good news is that the restrictions have changed over the past, um, I guess, months since we got back to sports. We started with working in a pod system of small groups. Um, we were able to open up the pods uh, and have more people in, in one group. So I was able to mix both JV and varsity together, which was kind of nice to practice together on the same field, which was nice is that now we can have spectators, two spectators per athlete at a game, which really changes the dynamic for the players to have parents there or friends. So I think that makes a big difference. Our golf team was so excited to be back out on the golf course and playing and being around each other again, even though they had to wear masks and they have to be six feet apart, but uh, they really are enjoying having a season. I think the backlash came when, you know, all the fall teams were, you know, kind of out there protesting and especially football saying, hey, get us out on the field. We need to play. But since we've started, uh, every parent has been um, just awesome with the rules and regulations that have been set forth, um, the changes that have occurred. Um, when we go to an away game, uh, and if it's 45 minutes, an hour away, parents have to drop their kids off, but can't stay. So they're going to go home, uh, and then come back to pick them up. So it's fairly inconvenient from just a convenience perspective. Um, from a personal perspective, they want to see their kids play. So I've been getting, um, lots of calls from parents with some really good ideas. Like, can I be the photographer? Can I help get the balls on the sidelines? Can you know, can I support in any way so that I can be there to watch my kid? Uh, but the rules are the rules right now, or they were. And so that's changing. We have field hockey, for example, and soccer um, share many of the same or all of the same restrictions. They're both outdoor sports that are on the same uh, on the stadium field. So the same restrictions apply as far as uh, physical distancing, mask wearing, uh, spectators. So all of that is the same. It gets different with, you know, certain sports like, you know, football, it's a contact sport. So they're allowed to be, you know, closer than six feet away, whereas other other sports are supposed to remain six feet away. So I guess the social distancing part is the biggest difference um, between the sports. Um, so my job is to ensure the safety of my players, period. Uh, and if that means that we have restrictions that um, that are that like mask wearing and, and, and physical distancing, um, my job is to adhere to those and follow the science that tells me to do so. Uh, so whether I agree or not with some of them, 
is kind of less relevant uh, only because I, I don't have all the answers. You know, the, the serious contact sports like football and, and, you know, boys lacrosse and soccer. I don't know, maybe, maybe I would have kept the restrictions in place as long as they have. But I definitely think baseball and golf could have gotten started a little earlier than some of the others. Um, and so I wouldn't be any more strict at all. Would I like to see us not have to wear masks uh, during competition? The answer, of course, is yes, because not, not from a science perspective. So I agree with it from that perspective, but I do see how my athletes struggle um, in the middle of a game. So if, if, if I could do away with one restriction, it would be mask wearing in competition, not walking into the stadium, not on the sideline, but those that are in competition. I think that ultimately is why um, we do what we do is to, is, is to, to get back uh, to being with our student athletes. Cause it's not just about the sport, you know, as coaches, we're mentors. You know, I, I think we're just, we're just excited to have them all out there and playing. Thanks for watching. We hope you have a great weekend and stay safe.